Hey friends, this is Kelly Calabrese, and today I'm here with my friend Laurent Laren Wilkie. Sure. And we were introduced by an amazing uh, mutual friends who are also spiritual mentors to us, Kevin and Janet Weaver. And Laren and I have both gone through his intensive training, which now has infused our physiology. And uh, Laren, you're the founder of Valor Training Group. Tell us what that is. The definition of valor is courage in the face of great danger. And uh, two years ago, I was reading an article about the 1984, uh, what they called the San Ysidro McDonald's massacre, where a gunman walked in and he, and he um, shot 40 people and killed 20 of them. And I remember as I was reading that article, I just remember thinking to myself, if that ever happens to me, I just want a fighting chance. Like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go face down, right? in my McDonald's meal. And back then, um, we could probably argue that McDonald's was all American. Like today you could go, it's bad food, you shouldn't be eating it. But back then it was kind of a, it was kind of a symbol of America. And so I didn't do anything with that for a long time. Eventually I got my concealed carry weapons permit to start carrying a gun. But it wasn't until about 2010, 2011, when I took responsibility for a large security team and most of the people coming to do that work in the church are people who just like you and me, and they didn't have any experience with, with adrenaline stress. And so as God began to show me these things, I, he showed stuff to me that I wasn't even asking questions about um, and started connecting dots. And all of a sudden I realized that not only did my team not have those tools, but people as a whole don't have those tools. And in the process, what God showed me is that and this is the most amazing thing to me because I didn't get this growing up in church. He designed the human body that even if you chose not to follow him, there's such an amazing instinct and capability within the human body. And he just kept unpacking that for me. And I, I saw, I was like, this is how he showed me who he was as a loving father. And so valor was created so that I could teach anybody the training. I could use the principles because the science doesn't change no matter what you believe. The science about how it works doesn't change. And so valor really is about empowering people with those innate tools. Um, and then if we can, if there's a spiritual connection, we can actually help them maybe enhance those tools as well. <laughs> wow, I love that. So you have created a course and it's really about how to avoid from being a victim of a violent crime, but it's so that you can go create uh, courageously out into the world and live a full life. So can you tell us about, you know, why did you create that course? Who's it for and what can people expect? Well, in my own life and my experience, I've encountered um, not just women, but women who, who are impactful for me that what I realized as I began to look at my own journey, um, I realized that we're, we're fear-based people. We, fear has crept into every part of society and we just accept it as just normal. But the word says that perfect love casts out fear. And so if that's the case, then, and we're also told in 2 Timothy 1.7 that we were not given the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So the opposite of operating in power, love, and sound mind is fear. So if, I, if I'm not operating in one of those three things, I should be looking at where am I being fear-based. And so I just, I got this awareness of how often we make fear-based decisions. And so how this equates to self-defense is that if every day of your life, you're actually making decisions that are based in fear, you might get the same result if you weren't basing it in fear, but it has diminishing returns. And so you will have to, you're, you're building a neural network of fear-based decisions in the moment when bad things happen, you're likely going to follow that same path in your, in your mind. And you might rise to the occasion. Most people don't. And so this is about starting to root out. You know, we're going to start looking at how do you root those things out in your real life every day. The training itself is about four hours long. And we're going to give you a model for that and some really powerful tools for you to start, start looking at, hey, where, where is fear showing up in my life and how can I start to root that out? Wow, that is incredible. I mean, uh, Larry, my background is in physiology. And every time we have a conversation, I've been walking with the Lord for a while. You give me new perspective on things that I had not yet considered, but makes so much sense. And I know your heart is to help these women really shift 
you know, away from fear into that courageous boldness, valor is the word that you use. So I'm so thankful that you are, you have put together this four hour workshop and you're beginning to bring it out to the world. And we know that God is going to multiply it. So what would your invitation be to perhaps the woman or maybe the man? I know you also do this for men who's out there listening. Why should they come? Well, just to be clear, I'm pretty focused on, it's like the Lord has kind of, has told, not kind of, he has told me to focus on women for now. And so you're right. I can teach this. I have taught this, this same stuff to men, but it's being more, more um, structured um, for women. And what I'd say is, is, is that if you have children, let's just say that you're a woman out there has children, you might be a single mom. Um, there's likely things that have happened to you in your life and, and you're making fear-based decisions that, that, that do affect your children. And Kelly, you and I had talked earlier that if we can avoid, if we can stop just one woman from being sexy assaulted, we, we change genera- her generations because it, because it doesn't just affect the woman, it affects emotionally, psychologically, it even gets in their DNA. And so um, my invite is, is whether you've been assaulted or not, the statistics is 35% minimum um, that, of women who've been assaulted, whether you have or not, um, we can't ignore that the danger's out there. And I believe that we're coming into a time in our society where women are, God needs women, uh, women, courageous women to step forward and, and help shape the future um, in ways that only they can. And as you step into that role, you're going to need new tools, right? You, you may have been able to avoid those things up to now, but as you increase in your ability to uh, route out the kingdom of hell, the enemy will increase his attacks and he will. And so th- this is really, we're going to talk about intuition. This is a powerful tool that we, that we just ignore, but we're going to talk about how we use that to detect the ways that he'll come at us that we, that we don't yet know. Wow. Well, you're absolutely describing me. I can relate to that as a single mom with a college age daughter. And I probably falsely feel safe. And as I step up in my own ministry and looking at being more on the front lines, we know the attack is going to be greater. So um, I want to put the invitation out there to women as well that I am stepping up doing the training myself. I want and need to be more equipped, not only physically, but spiritually. So um, what is the best way for them to sign up? Do they go to your website? How can they find out more? Yes, the the best place to go is www.womenascapableguardians.com. And that whole website is dedicated to that training and they can register there. Wherever we teach this class in Colorado, Texas, and Oklahoma, right now we're focused in Texas. Um, so that's where we got classes coming up, but we'll be around. Okay. Well, I am believing that God is going to multiply this because women need this. So uh, believing that this video is a seed that's going to be planted. So want to tell whoever might be viewing this to please share this with anyone that you know, especially uh, women who have ministries, who have influence, who are part of organizations that are faith-based or even non-faith-based, where you just, we want women out there to be safe and vigilant and be equipped. So thank you, Lauren, for bringing this uh, short video to us. I know we can go on for a long, long time. Yes. um, And that's why they should come to the course. (laughs) So Kelly, thank you very much for for, uh, doing this interview. Oh, I'm so happy to do it. So uh, ladies, go to the website and please share it. Thank you.